Hey everyone, Jonathan Taylor here with the BIB Podcast, bringing you another video tip this week. In this week's video tip, we have a question from a subscriber who asked the question in regards to video scribe. How do you change the order of the objects on your canvas? So uh, if you've, uh, what he means is if you've uh, completed a presentation in video scribe, uh, how do you, um, how do you, change the order in which some of these graphics appear. Um, and this can happen really easily. You'll be uh, creating a, uh, a series of images uh, that you want done and somehow you get one out of order. Um, it, it, uh, it's happened to me a time or two in the past, but if that happens, it's very easy uh, to correct. And I'll just give you a quick example. If I click the play button, uh, you'll see the beginning of the presentation. It shows um, a guy with his uh, hands on his head, he's frustrated, and it says trouble presenting. So, uh, so we're going to stop that. I just wanted to uh, to show you that real quick, and uh, so we'll back that out. Okay, so we're back to um, we're back to our full screen. So, uh, so what we want to do if we want to change the order of that, maybe uh, just to give an example, if I wanted to put that thought bubble before the image of the man with his hands on his head appeared, then I would just simply click on the image of the little thought bubble and I would move it over with the little arrows to the, to the left. And as you'll also notice on the right, there's some arrows that you can move it this way on the timeline. So, uh, and if I want to change the wording, if I want to add the wording right after the thought bubble, I'll move that right after the thought bubble as well. So anytime you have an object that needs to be moved within the timeline, or for instance, if you have completed a drawing and you end up adding a new drawing that you think that would fit earlier on in the presentation that you forgot to add, you can always add it. It's going to show up at the end of the timeline, but all you do is like click it if it's down here and use that arrow and just click it a number of times to bypass a lot of these previous slides and get it to where you want it to be on the timeline. And that's where it'll show. So after moving, um, you'll see after moving the little thought bubble at the beginning, when I click the play, it's now going to show up at the beginning instead of the guy um, with it with the hands in his head on his head. Okay, so you get the picture. Easy to do, um, not a hard process. Uh, video scribe that make it real easy to correct um, if you've got an image out of order by simply using the left or the right arrows uh, to move back and forth on the timeline to get it where you need it. So that's a video tip this week. I hope that helps. And um, as always, thanks for subscribing to this channel and also to our podcast over at bibpodcast.com. Hope everyone has a great week. God bless. Take care.